let's talk about blood vessels, okay? So blood vessels, when we talk about blood vessels, what are we talking about? We're talking about arteries, veins, and capillaries. Together, they make up blood vessels. So, arteries, arteries away. Instead of anchors away, you get it? Arteries away, it helps you remember, all right? So, arteries are, are um, carry, they're made out of smooth muscle and they carry oxygenated blood away. They carry the blood away from the heart. And they, the blood in your arteries is oxygenated. Oh, the one, but anyway, moving on. And they are the thickest. They are the thickest of the three here because they have to withstand the force of the heart contractions. So when the heart beats, all that pressure goes through the arteri arteries. And so they must be thick and able to withstand that pressure. Now, the biggest artery, I always think of blood vessels being like America's, um, or anywhere in the world for that matter, our um, highway system. Okay, so I'm from the Chicago area, and so my neighbor in Kansas now, but um, I imagine in my mind like the Borman, the tri state, where it's seven lanes wide. Okay, some of your big arteries that come out of your heart and come down are very big. And that would be like the big tri-state that's seven lanes wide. Then you can get off on say 8094 and it's four lanes wide. And then you can get off maybe on the Dan Ryan and then off onto Michigan Avenue and then off, you know, maybe State Street or smaller and smaller until you're down into a little alleyway. So they start out very big and go down to small. The smaller ones are called arterioles, okay? But they all have these characteristics. Veins. Veins, the tiny ones are called venules. Yes, they're made out of smooth muscle also. Not as thick as arteries, but thicker than capillaries. These veins take deoxygenated blood back up to get oxygenated and then pumped through back out through the body. So they have deoxygenated blood and the blood is darker because it's deoxygenated. Blood is not blue. I've heard, you know, rumors, the blood is blue until you cut it. When it hits air, it turns red. Nope, urban myth or old wives tale or whatever you want to call it, it's just not true. But it is a darker and if you cut a vein it kind of oozes out if you cut an artery it's going to spurt out with every heartbeat okay and the smaller ones are our venules and same thing on this one is they start out bigger and go smaller as they branch out okay now veins one thing they have different from arteries also is that veins have valves VV veins have valves and valves are like this and they come up to open and close so think about it in your leg coming up it has to the blood has to be pumped from your big toe all the way back up so they have to have valves or else all the blood would be down here and nothing up here so valves are there to in between heartbeats to seal off so the blood doesn't just rush down to your feet again, okay? So what could possibly go wrong? Babies, birthdays, and gravity, right? Have you heard that before? Yeah. The pressure, you know, standing up, being pregnant, and all of this pushes on our, on our veins, and it makes them kind of bulge out varicose veins, heard of that? So then these valves don't work as well because of all the pressure from gravity, standing, being pregnant, all that push down weight on it. These valves fail and you get varicosities and then sometimes it leaks out. And have you ever seen where the hemosiderin staining or some red blood cells even leak out of these walls of the veins and you get kind of a rusty purpley color around it. Yeah. So 
that's what can happen in our veins as we age. By the way, it doesn't just happen in our legs. It can happen in your esophagus, esophageal veracity. They, they have varicose veins in their esophagus. Happens all over. All right, how about our capillaries? Now the capillaries are what connects the venules and the arterioles, the tiny arteries and the tiny veins. They're also made out of smooth muscle. They're super duper duper thin real thin and they are the thinnest and the, what they do when they come up to a cell or maybe an alveoli in the lungs you'll have a tiny little arterial and you'll have a tiny little venule they'll come in like this and then the capillary hooks them together like that so the arterial, the arteries are bringing the oxygen and nutrition and everything into the cell that it needs to, to be alive and function and be healthy and it delivers it and then delivers all that to this cell, all the, all the things it needs and then the veins give up all the trash so the uh, cellular debris and the, um, the uh, byproducts after everything's been used in the cell, and then the vein carries that back out. So here it's delivering, here it's taking away, and the capillary hooks the two together so everything can't go right through because these are so tiny and they lay up against the cell and everything just comes right through that cell membrane. Isn't that interesting? So those, my friends, are your blood vessels.